Hi, I'm Greg. I own a marketing agency and we were using Slack and then we added Monday.com. For more reviews like these, please click below. We use Slack primarily um, as a communications tool, both in office and with clients. Um, it mostly eliminates email for us. We, we never email among our our own team, which is great. Um, when we started using Slack, the amount of email uh, in my inbox dropped probably 75%, which has been uh, really, really good. We're also able to bring in clients to communicate directly with our team members, um, which is good because we can share files very easily. It allows us to, um, to search back through the conversation history, um, all without cluttering up our inboxes, and it's in real time. So um, it's very, very helpful as we're working through projects with clients. Um, Monday.com works really well with Slack and we added it to help us with task management and project management. So what we really liked about Monday was the ability to set um, specific deliverables over the course of a project and to assign those to different team members. Um, and again, it integrates with Slack very well. So it gives us kind of an integrated set of tools that allow us to work with our clients um, through the beginning all the way to the end of a project in a way that is visual um, and very easy to use. It's both, both platforms are very intuitive and easy for us to teach, even to people who aren't used to using them. Monday.com has been a wonderful platform to use. We really like it. Um, it is best for helping to be able to set really specific um, goals and deliverables over the course of a project. Um, it's very visual. Um, all of the, the buttons are, are, you know, it's very, you see what your progress is. You can assign things to different people. So it, it helps us stay very organized um, and it makes complex projects with lots of steps um, feel easier. Um, it, it gets all of your thoughts in one place on one screen. When you see it and, and see the way that they've laid it out, it's very different from other platforms that do similar things. The visual layout they came up with for Monday, in my opinion, is the easiest to understand. Like just by looking at it, you can tell what's going on, which really works well for us because we collaborate regularly with people who have never used project management software before. It's just not what they do. Um, so inviting our clients into the process becomes possible with Monday.com. It really wasn't before. Um, so it enables um, our clients really like it because they can see exactly where we are on a project at any given time in real time. They can communicate with us. There's op options in there to discuss things and to chat, um, share files and, and screen captures so we can see what we're doing at any given time. And then each different deliverable can be um, marked complete as you complete it. So um, people really like seeing the steps that you've finished. So for collaboration with clients and working together with large teams, Monday.com shines compared to other products we've used that are similar. Slack is great for communication among team members. Um, we use it that way regularly. Um, and the ability to break conversations into specific threads or with different groups of team members so that you know every member of the team isn't in on every conversation is really great. Um, we really utilize and like the file sharing um, feature in Slack, the ability to just very quickly send screen captures, PDFs, uh, Dropbox links, uh, Dropbox links, other things like that. Um, throwing those into Slack um, for quick review and for sharing um, is just very, very simple. It's easier than emailing Dropbox links or really any other way of sharing files. So we use it for file sharing um, among our team um, all throughout the day, every day. Um, and then also collaborating with clients, um, inviting them into a conversation on Slack feels so much more um, engaging to them than just getting an email from us from time to time. It lets them feel like they're part of the project and, and you know, they're paying us to be um, kind of outsourced team members for them while we're working on a new website, for example, or some other marketing piece. So being able to talk with them um, as we're working on that project in a platform like Slack where they feel engaged and connected um, it's just really helpful. It makes them feel like they're part of it, um, that, you know, we're not off working on an island by ourselves, but that we're collaborating together. Um, it really makes it feel more like we're partners and less like just 
outsourced freelance design people, which we really like. It helps to build better relationships with our clients um, and helps us to retain them long term because they get to know us and they like working with us. And, you know, there's opportunities to share uh, little animated gifts and jokes and things like that that just wouldn't present themselves in a more professional setting like email. Slack's a little more casual and we really like that. Gives us a chance to let our personalities show. Um, and we really end up getting to know our clients through those interactions on Slack. So it's great for those things. Slack is really easy to get started with because, you know, at, at its core, it's just a conversational piece of software. You, you invite other team members and you communicate with them um, just through typing. So um, it's, it's, it feels easy if you've ever used any kind of chat software, even going back to like old school AOL Messenger, things like that. You can very quickly figure out how to have conversations. Um, then there are lots of other tools. There are little tutorials that are available in Slack to kind of show you how to do some of the more advanced features. But really, Slack is not a super complex piece of software. There's not tons of different things that it that it does. It's really it's one of those pieces of software that's meant to do one or two things and it does them very, very well. Um, so the onboarding process for Slack with our team is very quick, very easy. Um, Monday.com is also pretty easy to get started on, although it is a more complex piece of software. It does lots and lots of things. And I would say that, you know, that a beginner can figure out the basics of it very quickly because it's so visual. Everything on it is drag and drop, you know, you click things, they change colors. It's super intuitive, but there are also some pretty significantly advanced features such as formulas and all kinds of third-party software integrations. So it, it does get pretty in-depth. We have found that their um, online tutorials and uh, videos are very helpful. They're really well done and they make it pretty easy to learn some of those more advanced skills. But really on, on our team, the average user doesn't need to know how to do those things. We have one person on our team who is kind of our monday.com administrator, who it's their job to be an expert. And then they just show the rest of us what we need to know. And the stuff that we need to know, usually once it's set up, is really easy to work with. Um, some of the back end stuff can be a little bit tricky the first time, but we have found that the um, the help on Monday.com's actual website is very good, and their customer support has been very helpful as well. There's been a couple of times where we've reached out asking, is is there a way to do this kind of tricky formula that we want to you know automate this one thing? Can it do that? And they've been able to walk us through that. They even sent us a video uh, that they did a capture of walking us through the exact steps of how to do it. So um, money.com is a little bit more involved, but still not hard to get started with. When my business is considering what software platforms we want to use, there's a couple of things that are really important for us. Um, first is, is the cost. It, it has to be affordable. Um, there are some software platforms we've looked at that are just prohibitively expensive for smaller teams. Um, our agency has less than 10 employees. And so we're not a thousand person agency. So we need software that um, has a lot of power and, and will fit the needs that we have without, you know, breaking the bank. So that's important. But then the second thing is we need something that can be um, adopted pretty easily by our entire team without um, a massive amount of training. We have looked at some software platforms and considered them that were just too uh, too complicated. There were too many things going on, um, several that we've looked at that, that just didn't fit the bill because they were too hard, um, would have required more administrative time than we had to give them. We need things that we can purchase and start using and, and not have to you know go to a, a conference or something to learn how to do it. We need things that, that work out of the box and are relatively simple to use. We also need things that for, in, in these cases with Slack and Monday, we need software that we can show our clients how to use because they're collaborating with us on these platforms. So it has to be, we work with a lot of people who are not particularly computer savvy. So we need for them to be able to learn these things without having maybe tons of experience using lots and lots of software platforms. In some cases, we're dealing with people who are older or people who just do not have very good computer skills. And we found in both of these, um, the cases of both of these pieces of software, that they've been pretty easy to use for people. And that's been really important for us and was a big reason we decided to use each of these platforms.